How has the required skills and competencies evolved from the DBA role to a data engineer? Yeah, they've definitely changed. It's quite a bit different. With a DBA, we were talking about that before, but go, it's a lot more of this familiarity with the lower level system. So mm-hmm. how do you swap out nodes is the example I keep harping on. So there's familiarity with maybe bash and version updating, like how do you Op- update the operating system, things of that nature. As you talk about with the cloud, you don't necessarily need to do that as a data engineer mm-hmm. working with AWS or other, there's other providers out there. So that's one thing for sure. We don't need as much of that familiarity, but it's still relevant. I'm not going to say forget it. It's always good to know those things and it does come up more than you think. And then on the flip side, there's a lot more that a data engineer would need to know. Like we have job requirements that you need to know Python. Scala mm-hmm. is always useful. Those are, in terms of coding languages, those are useful. SQL is, has always been useful. It's always a yeah. requirement before and now. And then I also say, yeah, distributed computing, Spark, Flink, Airflow, which is an orchestrator. It's a little bit different, but do you have familiarity with all the modern tools and frameworks? And do you know how to deal with memory management in Spark? Those types of skills that people can learn, but are definitely are useful things on the job. Yeah. No, so there's a lot more with Kel. Especially it's more like, like database work. Not Now it's a bit more got that coding element to it, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting because... And obviously that, sorry, that... I guess obviously AI and ML element to it, isn't it? You've got to have that more knowledge in that space because before it was just more, yeah, know your database. Yeah, where DBA could be, let's make sure this database is operating and where the responsibilities end. I'm not saying that's always the case. I don't want to say they're just narrow-minded on that, but traditionally it would be more focused on, is this database up and running? Are we getting performing um, queries and and operations out of this? Now it it can be a little bit different where, and I've had this very role to role company, but you're a lot closer to the business context. And Mm -hmm. when you're data modeling or understanding, okay, the customer, the business needs this data set at this time with this SLA and you have to understand, okay, our system doesn't work that way right now. What are the ways we can compromise or figure out how to re-architect the system and how can we relate that to the, to the business and figure out, oh, they say they need it every hour. Is that actually true? Or do they just need it every hour from nine to five? So figuring out what does the business actually need or trying to understand to data model is also understanding what's the business context here. And just getting a little bit closer there. I think it's not to say DBAs don't do that, but I think mm-hmm. with data engineering, you get a little bit closer to that. Yeah. 